blimey, who am I? I am Liz Howell. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, my five I am the Deputy Head of the Journalism Department at City and I am the Director of Broadcasting. And what do I know about video journalism? Well, I should know everything, shouldn't I? I've got a very long roller coaster career behind me, so I've been a news reporter for all sorts of things. I've been the manager of news and I've been the editor and I've been, uh, I was managing editor at Sky News and then I was. Um, Director of Programs at GNTV, that was a dreadful mistake in my life. And then um, I ran a channel called Living, which has now just been bought by Sky, and now I'm here. The BBC, I hate to say it because they're a massive organisation and they get lots and lots of plaudits, but here's another one. They're doing some really good work. I think that Al Jazeera is really exciting. They, I mean, everybody is in a way because they're all keeping in step with each other, so there's some great stuff. And one of the things that absolutely fascinates me is the use of what would have been called years ago low quality footage. And if the story is interesting enough, who cares about the technical quality of the footage? It's getting those pictures that count. And I cite the case of Charles and Camilla in the car being uh, attacked by the students and that footage was not professionally shot and it was great. You've got to have a good story. You've got to have a good story. Anything else is YouTube. And YouTube isn't journalism. You know, YouTube's YouTube. You know, pandas sneezing and so on. But if you're going to do good video journalism, you've got to have a great story. And when you've got a great story, it sort of flows from there. You've got to have some pictorial sense and I think some pictorial training. Things like framing are important. Like sort of cutting nice little packages are important. Using imagination and creativity so that you have a story which is perhaps dull on the face of it, which you make work through the pictures. But basically, it's knowing a story when you see it. Or better still, finding the story. I think that it's quite difficult sometimes for people who are used to just doing written work um, to think of pictures. But I think there's a new grammar now. I think, you know, we used to have verbs and nouns and subjects and objects and now we've got all those things and picture it's an integrated new grammar and if you are the sort of person that thinks pictures you will think pictures you, you dream in pictures pictures are your thing and it should come from that but there, it is really useful to have some basic training in technique particularly framing mm -hmm. and uh, eye lines and things like that that you know it doesn't take long to learn but it's, it makes such a difference to your work mm -hmm. And I know it's a very big question, but what is the future of mm. video journalism? The moving picture industry is immense. Did you know that 11% more young people between the ages of 16 and 24 watch television now than they did five years ago? Moving pictures, everyone loves them. We can't live without them. One of the most fascinating things is when you get a new group of students and you put them in the television studio and they watch the person reading the news. But within 20 seconds they're watching them on the screen, not the real person. Put a frame around something and people can't take their eyes off it. 